Hello everyone and welcome to another Formcraft 4 video. Today I'm going to show you Everbloom and talk a little bit about, about Taint. You might have noticed that sometimes when you use the cauldron some liquid like this spawn on top of it and goes out or something like, like this that goes up and sticks in your roof and disappears after a while. This is taint. And taint can spread in the world, and if you have enough of it, you get biomes like these. So, this is a sheep. He will attack me, the chicken, and the pig too. And we will attack other mobs. You can also get zombies and things like that. Actually. Kill you, little fast one. And it tries to morph me into them. But it doesn't work, it's good. So to battle taint. Oh, I want to try something. Oh! You can share a wall from a tainted sheep. That's cool. But to battle it, you need Everbloom. It grows up like this and glows and it will remove taint from an area close to it. So if I place down some of these here and wait, you can see what happens. This is probably overkill. But I will pause for a while and see how it looks. So now I waited like two minutes and all of the taint here is gone or most of it anyway. So it's quite effective and the range that it works on is the light you see. So all the way out here it will work and that's a tentacle thing. Let's leave creative. So when you walk around on the tainted ground, you will get a taint effect after a while and you will get hurt by flux taint. And to craft these flowers, you will need these flowers, but if you hit them with a sword or anything else, or almost anything else, we will just drop quicksilver, and you don't want quicksilver. Let's go down creative. You, so you will need shears to pick them up. So that's everything I have to say about if fairy all bloom. If you have any question, leave a comment. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.